and welcome to this episode of the Alkira demonstration series. My name is David Klebanov and I lead product marketing for Alkira. Today I'm going to demonstrate how you can build your AWS cloud network in under 7 minutes. Building networks for the cloud era using traditional methods is a daunting task. The lack of a uniform approach forces organizations to rely on a set of disjoint solutions for on-premises, cloud and multi-cloud connectivity. Such solutions oftentimes carry a burden of costly hardware investments coupled with complex software configurations and a need for acquiring deep cloud and networking expertise. All of this is resulting in a slow service provisioning. Simply put, the traditional network is not sufficiently agile for the cloud. Enter Alkira Network Cloud, powered by the Alkira Cloud Services Exchange. In the next couple of minutes, I'm going to demonstrate how you can achieve an unprecedented agility in building a secure and segmented network for your AWS and on-premises environments with elements of integrated auto-scaling firewalls and regional internet exit points for optimal SaaS applications access. If that sounds interesting, let's see how it's done. The first thing we need to do is to log in to the Alkira Cloud Services Exchange where our account was created. We are presented with a map of the world where we can select the locations where our network is going to be present. In this particular case, let's select two locations, one in US East and one in US West. We are taken to the Design Canvas. In here, we can design all of our networking and security elements. The first step, let's add a new segment. We already have a default segment, but let's in add a new custom one. We're going to call this Finance and assign an IP address block for internal purposes. Let's save the changes and go back to the design canvas. Now, segments are end-to-end. -end. There's no need to create segment per location. Finance segment now spans an entire network. Let's add AWS workloads. We need to authenticate to an AWS account. In this case, we can use role-based or key-based. We're going to use key-based for simplicity and choose the AWS region. The system is going to walk the account and get the list of VPCs we can onboard. Let's select one of the VPCs and provide a couple of pieces of information that are required to onboard the VPC, such as the capacity, the network capacity required for that VPC, the target segment, the group for policy application, and a billing tag for billing purposes. Now, VPC has been added. Let us show you how simple it is to add another VPC. We're going to choose a different region, this time it's the East Coast region, select the authentication mechanism, select an AWS region, this time Ohio, and let the system discover VPCs. Let's select the VPC from the list, and again provide a couple of pieces of information, such as network capacity, the target segments, the, the target groups for policy application, and the billing tags. Let's save and go back to the canvas. Both VPCs can now communicate to each other even though they are in two different AWS regions. Let's add an internet exit point in case one of the VPCs needs access to internet. So we're going to define an internet connector. In this case, assign it to finance segment because that's where VPCs are, assign billing tag, and save. Now VPCs can communicate to each other and have an internet exit. But what about security? Let's go to the Alkira Services Marketplace and select the Palo Alto Networks Firewall. Alkira completely automates the provisioning and lifecycle of the Palo Alto VM series firewalls deployed in the Alkira Cloud Exchange Points. Because we'll be using Panorama for management, we need to provide a couple of pieces of information. Autoscaling is advantageous if the system needs to autoscale the firewall deployment to accommodate rising and lowering capacity needs for the application traffic. Selecting the VM series type, the software version, and creating the administrative account for those firewalls. For Panorama to successfully manage the VM series firewalls, we need to provide the authentication keys. One key per firewall. Now let's provide a couple of more pieces of information. First is the sizing of the firewalls and the segment where the firewalls are going to be servicing the application traffic along with the management segment. Let's select billing tag for billing purposes and save. Now the firewall has been added to the system. 
but we have not yet sent any traffic to it. So let's define intent based policies in order to do that. The first policy we're going to define is going to be for inter-region traffic between the two VPCs. We're going to give a policy name, select a segment where that policy is going to be active, finance, and select to and from fields. This is uh, defining the traffic between the VPC in the AWS Oregon region and the VPC in AWS Ohio region. All the traffic is going to be sent to the Palo Alto firewalls. Let's enable the policy and save. It was that easy. But what about internet traffic? Let's define another policy. This policy is going to be for the traffic that goes between the AWS VPC in Oregon region and internet. Let's select the segment, both are in finance. Select an AWS VPC in Oregon and internet as from and to. As you can see, the highlighting happens on the left, so you can see which objects are being affected by the policy. In this case, the non-business critical traffic is going to be blocked by the system and only business relevant traffic is going to be sent to the firewall for a stateful inspection. Now we are back at the design canvas. The cloud is done, but what about an on-premise environment? Things need to connect to the cloud. There are several connectors that we can define on the on-premises side. Let's use IPsec connector. We'll define a new site. This time it's San Jose site. The San Jose site has a router that terminates an internet connection. We need to define the IP address, the public IP address that that router receives on its interface towards internet. The site is important, it has two routers. Let's define a second router and give a second gateway IP address in order for an IPsec to be established. Now routing needs to occur. We're going to use BGP for dynamically exchanging routes between the San Jose remote site and the cloud network. We define the BGP autonomous system, define sizing for how much network capacity is going to be allowed to that site, define the segment we're going to put the site in, and that's it, the site is connected. Now the site can communicate to all of the cloud workloads and the internet. But what about security again? Can we insert security for that communication as well? Of course, let's define a new policy. This policy is going to inspect the traffic from the branch location from San Jose site to both of the cloud workloads in US East and US West regions. It's going to be in a finance segment. The source is going to be San Jose site and the destination is going to be a group of two cloud workloads, one in the US East, one in US West. We're going to send this traffic to the Palo Alto firewall. Non-business relevant traffic is going to be dropped by the system. Let's save it. We are done.